Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss another example in which we will be using normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. Today in this video, we will be controlling three LEDs using three switches. So let's start. Example 2. If switch 1 and switch 2 are on, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. If switch 2 and switch 3 are on, then LED 2 will be off and LED 3 will be on. That means if switch 1 and switch 2 both are on, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. And if switch 2 and switch 3 are on, that is, if switch 3 is on or off, that doesn't mean that doesn't matter. But if switch 2 and switch 3 are on, both are on, then LED 2 will be turned off and LED 3 will turn on. So if switch 1 is on, LED 1 will be on, but LED 2 will turn off. So in this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder logic for this example and also do the simulation. So here's the interface of TI portal. Let's click on PLC tags, then default tag table. And here we need to add inputs and outputs. We have three switches. So I will write switch one. And then I will click on this and drag up to 3. So switch 2 and switch 3 will be automatically fetched. And then I will add outputs LED 1, LED 2 and LED 3. Firstly, I will add LED 1. And I will change here as Q 0.0. .0. Q 0, .0. And then I will drag it to here. And LED 2 and LED 3 will be automatically fetched. And then let's minimize this and then I will go to programming uh, program block and then main OB. Main OB. So here I will insert two normally open contact. I will double click on it and then I will Assign address to it as switch 1, that is I0.0, .0, and then here it will be I0.1. So I will select switch 2. And then here I will insert a coil for LED 1. I will assign address to it as Q0.0, .0, and that I will select it from here, that is Q0.0. .0. I have already added it in the PLC tag table. So I will just select it from the list. So when switch 1 and switch 2 are on, LED 1 will be on and with that LED 2 will also be on. So I will click on this open branch here and then I will double click on coil and it will be LED 2. So here I will select LED 2 here and then if switch 2 and switch 3 are on, LED 2 and LED 3 will be off. So here with LED with switch 3, LED 2 should be turned off. So for that I will use a normally close contact here and that will be off switch 3. And then for LED 3, we will use network 2 here and for that I will insert two normally open contacts. One will be for switch 2 switch 2 and the second one will be for switch 3 and then I will insert a coil here for LED 3 and I will select LED 3 from the list. So for now when switch 1 and switch 2 are turned on LED 1 and LED 2 will be turned off the current will flow through it and switch 3 is normally closed contact when it is off it also uh, it uh, allows current to flow through it as a result LED 2 will also be on. And then if switch 2 and switch 3 are on, switch 3 when turned on here as normally closed contact in true state it will not allow current to flow through it as a result this LED 2 will be turned off. 
but LED 2, LED 3 will turn on when switch 2 and switch 3 are on. So let's do the simulation. Let's click on start simulation here and then OK. Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start CPU here. OK. And then monitoring on off. And then I will click on this option, switch to project view, where we can modify switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3 where we can control. So here let's uh, create a new project. And then I will go to I will maximize this then I will go to event tables sorry simulation tables and then simulation table 1 or add a new simulation table and then I will right click on here and then load project tax. So here as you can see here switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3 all are turned off. So when I turn on switch 1 nothing happens but when i turn on both the switches switch 1 and switch 2 you can see led 1 and led 2 will turn on as you can see also here led 2 and led 2 are true and then when switch 2 and switch 3 are on then what happens is that led 3 will turn on before that LED 2 and LED 1 were on and when I turn on switch 3 then what happens is that LED 2 will turn off but LED 3 will turn on. As you can see also here this LED 2 is false but LED 3 is true. It was all about this video. Thank you for watching.